आय डोंट वॉन्ट द परफेक्शनिजम इन माय लाईफ पार्टनर बट ही सपोर्ट्स मी इन एव्हरी थिंग विच थिंग आय डू अँड ही सपोर्ट्स ऑल्सो माय बिलिफ्स अँड माय बिलिफ्स अँड माय क्वालिटीज अँड ही रिस्पेक्ट मी अँड ही रिस्पेक्ट ऑल्सो माय मम अँड डॅड आय वॉन्ट टू ॲड वन एक्स्ट्रा पॉईंट लव इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट इन रिलेशनशिप सो ही लव्ह मी बॅडली आय वॉन्ट अँड बिलीव इज इम्पॉर्टंट ऑल्सो सो हॅलो रिवन माय नेम इज रितेश अँड टू दिस टॉपिक इज अबाउट बेस्ट आन्सर अँड माय आन्सर इज लाईक नाव डेज द थिंग इज इम्पॉर्टंट इन गर्ल्स इज मॅच्युरिटी that is the most important thing because they are behaving like child nowadays <laughs> and uh, next next thing is uh, they must uh, the girls must be uh, health conscious because i am like that so i don't want to be she must be like uh, sitting in house and <laughs> eating anything that she want and uh, next one is uh, caring then everyone wants like that uh, one of them is she must have sharp memory because i forgot many things anyway i forgot the roads when i came, which i came and uh, next one is she must love traveling because i don't like that boring person and sitting only home and doing studies like that that's it okay so good evening everyone today is the session about best answer and the question is uh, what qualities do you see in your future life partner i think all how all of you have given very nice answers and almost covered all the points uh, first would be he should respect his parents when he will respect his parents then only he will respect my my parents as well so that would be the first thing uh, second thing would be as shraddha said trustworthy he should be a good listener as well <laughs> because i speak a lot <laughs> uh, and um, i think um, as everyone said he um, he should respect education and he should respect my choices um, even i will respect his no doubt in that and um, yeah that was from my side thank you hi friends so today's session is about the best answer for your uh, what do you, what qualities do you see in your life partner so honestly speaking i am not even perfect so how could i expect from uh, my life partner that she should be perfect but uh, i would say that it's okay if she is not perfect but uh, i would expect the first thing is that she should be supportive uh, she should just uh, motivate me uh, second thing is uh, i am a quite religious person so uh, i would even expect that she should be religious and uh, it's okay that uh, but the belief system should be uh, good yes good evening good evening my name is riya and our today's topic is about um, best answer and question is what qualities you want to see in your life partner literally i'm not <laughs> thinking right now and literally uh, like when we make that uh, anything in our mind it is not going to happen it's it's my opinion <laughs> but um, on other hand um, what qualities i like means uh, he must be should respect uh, the education system means educate education and whatever i chose my career he should uh, must my career also because i will also respect uh, his career not that uh, there is a no any what we can say um doubt but uh, he also must my respect career and that things are also there that uh, he should respect my parents i also respect their parents there is that things but uh, and values and characters he knows so first of all i am just 20 years old so my current views are more susceptible to change in future and i will say def- they will definitely change but i will say just one thing uh, looking at the current social scenario i will say that uh, that girl like oh, whom i will marry uh, her wife should match with my mother that's it <laughs> like i will add this anywhere so thank you uh, so good evening everybody uh, today uh, our topic is about uh, what qualities you want in your future life partner so first thing uh, as everybody uh, talked about it that maturity every boy wants uh, his partner to be mature uh, because because of that uh, all social media things uh, next thing i think that uh, assertive nature that uh, uh, when uh, there is some some uh, uh, there is some event uh, which uh, you have you have want to deal at that time i think assertiveness is important uh many 
ladies actually feel shy about talking uh, directly to elders and if uh, you are newly married then you will uh, talk really less so i think it is important that even if you talk, talk less still you must be assertive towards your uh, own good as well as uh, entire family is good and last thing as um, i think that uh, independent uh, and dependable In independent but dependable because of uh, a current day scenario of uh, fast lifestyle uh, uh, many uh, ladies don't want to earn uh, money they want it to be depend on uh, their future husband but i think it is important if some mishap happens then at that time uh, the uh, she should be a dependable she must be depend uh, dependent independent that uh, she can survive as well as family can survive so good evening everyone today's topic is about our future partner so i am looking for whom who is uh, educated trustworthy and good communicator good listener because communication is a important thing i have seen that in my life because if you are not big communicate uh, not good communicator then problems will started from there and uh, he should good listener also and uh, he should be well disciplined and good educator uh, my life partner will be emotionally emotionally available and mentally strong because if if a person a uh, house of the leader is not emotionally stable or mentally strong then family will be destroyed and i don't want it in my whole life because he is the pillar of the family that's why he should be emotionally stable and mentally strong which i want thank you okay good evening friends myself darshan digambar koi uh, i want to uh, i want to my future partner like that she is first good looking and <laughs> and he she is always support to me in my life and she is take care to my parents uh, and uh, one one of the things i like traveling in, uh, and i i want to she is also like the traveling uh, because i in my bucket list there are lot of uh, adventures there At that time she support me and we can do together that's it Thank. Uh, good evening all uh, and today's session is the uh, best answer uh, session and we have to answer on uh, means uh, what qualities you have uh, in your future uh, life partner mm. uh, according to the me uh, the man should be uh, understandable uh, and uh, supportive uh, to uh, his woman and uh, next is uh, he should be ambitious and uh, he should be ambitious uh, and uh, hard working uh, in nature and uh, he have to take responsibility uh, of their woman and uh, whole family and uh, he uh, respect to me and uh, i i want that qualities in my life partner thank you good evening all of you today our topic is like which quality you are seen seen in your life partner now i am not uh, expecting anything because i am focusing on, on my studies and but you, the point is comes at, at in your life that that time you have to think on it but uh, i have to say something that <laughs> for that like she will be means she has the quality as she has maturity that this is the first the second one i am not expecting much from her but she has to accept me as how i am that i want from her like he want to that accept my madness or <laughs> whichever i am i am that that's all that's it all good evening everyone uh, today's topic is uh, uh, choose a life partner uh, i i watched a uh, well film movie then he is uh, she is uh, uh, supportive every time and every uh, situation he handle it then i will uh, uh, i like uh, uh, she is uh, uh, support my mother and me and my families that's it thank you good evening all of you today's topic is uh, best answer so question is uh, what qualities you want in your life partner i want first uh, he should respect of uh, women education second is uh, he should respect of his parents not my 
Miss, because who is listening his parents? This guy is very successful in life. I have seen. And second, he have habit of reading. These qualities I want. Thank you. Good evening to all. So question is, what are the qualities you can expect from your life partner? <laughs> from your life partner. So first of all, means other peripheral things are there. Means some bit of I expect common sense. First of all. <laughs> Second, some bit of intelligence manageable and uh, talking about other things uh, as uh, people talk that respect, she should uh, respect me and my parents also so that I, sh I will respect my mother-in-law and father-in-law. So these things are there. And after seeing the, this scenario means divorce happening, Hardik Pandya case then, loyal. <laughs> I don't want to suffer. <laughs> loyal. So, and uh, some bit of beautiful. Okay. The, the best answer can be See, um, what I expect from the other partner, life partner, is uh, not in my hands. So I'm not going to expect anything from that person. First of all, I think I should be first myself. I should be humble. I should be respectful. I should be caring. I should be matured. I should have that sense of humor. I should be responsible. I should be caring, loving. If I have all these qualities, definitely that person will have those qualities. And if she lags in that quality, she will look at me and she will develop those qualities in her. So instead of uh, looking for a person who has that quality, first of all, I have to be that person who has that qualities. Only then I will get a life partner that I deserve, not that I desire. Because you don't get life partners that you desire, you get life partners that you deserve. So first be deserving, then only you have that right to expect something from someone else. That was the answer.